Today, I'm sharing seven mind-blowing tips and tricks that you can implement using Notion AI. And these are going to save you a vast amount of time. So if you enjoy this video at any point, please go ahead and like this video. It took a lot of research. I wanted to make sure to pull out the best tips that you haven't heard yet. So go ahead and like this video and then enjoy these seven tips. Tip number one is creating simple tables in Notion and then turning them into Notion databases. So check this out. Here I am on a blank Notion page and I'm just going to hit slash and I'm going to ask AI to write. And here I can just type create a simple table with dog breeds, their weight and a friendliness around children score. And then I can hit enter. And what this is going to do is it's going to quickly create a table of some of the top dog breeds. It's going to give me these headers here. And it's also going to give these friendliness scores for these different breeds, their weight, and the dog breed itself. It's also going to write a bit for me. I don't need that. I'm just going to delete that. Once I delete that and delete table here, I can then go ahead and highlight this, click on these six dots, and go to turn into database right here. Once I turn this into a database, I can change the name of this title to dog breed. I can go ahead and hide this title right here. And then here I can change this to weight. There is a bit of cleaning up we'll have to do. And we'll change this to friendliness score. And then I'm just going to delete this top row right here. Now we have a beautiful database within Notion and I can even sort by weight, for instance. So if I go to sort weight, descending if I want to see the heaviest dog on the top or I can sort ascending if I want to see the lightest dog on the top and you can even go ahead and change this type here to number if you want to and that way you're going to be able to do things like calculate and average the weight of these dogs. Did you know that Notion AI can create pie charts? Tip number two is to create pie charts using Notion AI and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple. To do this, I'm just going to hit slash and I'm going to ask AI to write and I can type out create a pie chart in Mermaid that shows me the top 10 United States by population. And then I can hit enter and it's going to create this pie chart here. All I have to do now is click into some empty space and change this from plain text to Mermaid. Now I'm going to get a beautiful pie chart right here from Notion AI directly that pulls the top 10 United States by population. You see we have California up top, we have Texas next, Florida, New York, and so on. Tip number three is to use Notion AI to create a study plan or just a guide to do anything that you want it to do. So if you wanna learn software engineering or if you wanna learn how to build a house or you wanna learn how to build really anything or create something, learn something, you can use Notion AI for this. Let me show you. So here I have a page called building a house and I'm just going to hit slash ask AI to write hit enter and I'm just going to say outline. So write an outline about how to build a house step by step. And here where it says write an outline, I'm going to say write an educational outline and then I'm going to hit enter and it's simply going to list out all of the different steps of building a house. And if I want to, I can then go in and this is a step that really will help you out quite a bit. So I can go in on this step one here, highlight it and ask AI to create a 10 step process for this step. And then I can hit enter and it's going to list out the micro steps within plan and design. Okay, so then I can just go ahead and replace selection. And now it's going to give me the planning and designing steps. So I can go planning and designing a house. And then the next step here, I could go ahead and do that once again. So I'm going to ask AI, create a 10 step process for this step. It's already here. I hit that, hit enter, and it's going to give me some steps for obtaining the permit. And anywhere where I have any sort of difficulty with these things, let's just clean this up a bit. Anywhere where I have these difficulties, like fill out the necessary applications and forms, I can hit Ask AI and I can say, explain this step in the house building process like I'm a five-year-old. 
and it's going to write out a more detailed response to how you can do this. Before you can start building your house, you need to ask people in charge if it's okay. And it will just go on and on about what you need to do at this very detailed step. So I'm gonna hit insert below for any of those. And then I can go ahead and turn this into a toggle list and I can drop that text right in there. And then as you can see, now I have a nice study plan and I can just keep rinsing and repeating these steps to get as detailed as I need this to be. Now, this isn't going to be 100% perfect, but it is certainly a starting point. Here's another example. So what I could do is I could hit slash, ask AI to write, and I could say create a 100 day table that takes me from beginner to full stack software engineer. Give me a column in each row that lists some helpful resources for that particular study day hit enter and as you can see it's going to fill out all of these columns and rows exactly how i want so again this might not be a hundred percent perfect but you can continue to work with these prompts and get the exact study plan that you're after and at that point you're at least getting a really good starting point for your studies if you have questions about Notion or if you have questions about this video, the best way to get in touch with me is to tweet at me. So definitely tweet at productive underscore dude on Twitter if you have any questions. And don't forget to follow me for bite-sized Notion and productivity related content. We'll see you on Twitter. Tip number four is to use Notion AI in conjunction with Save to Notion. What you're going to be able to do is if you have an article that you're reading and you just don't want to read it all let's say you just want to summarize this article well in that case you can use save to notion so i just hit notion saver it's a chrome extension and i'm just going to pre-select my database that i want to save this to and then there are some options here i'm just going to clip page and then i'm going to open page in notion and this article from Decrypt here, let's say that I don't want to necessarily read the full article, I just want to summarize it. So what I would do is I'd scroll through here, highlight everything here except for the image, and I'm just going to click on these three dots, and I'm going to ask AI. And here it's as simple as summarize this article, and I can choose how long I want it to be. Summarize this article to 200 words. And then I can hit enter and it's going to shorten this up for me so that I can read it in just 200 words. So it turned all of these paragraphs into one simple paragraph. So I can insert this below, hit enter a couple times, and then we can type out summary and I'll go ahead and bold that. And now I can go ahead and read this and it will just save me a whole lot more time. AI isn't meant to completely replace these things. There's still going to be small issues with AI from time to time, but Notion AI seems to do a pretty good job and it saved me a ton of time when it comes to reading these lengthy articles. So this is definitely a use case that I have used and I will continue to use moving forward. Tip number five is to use Notion AI to create a comparison table or a pros and cons list to help you weigh out your options when it comes to a big important decision. For instance, I know that Australian Shepherds and Border Collies are similar breeds, but let me just go ahead and ask Notion AI for a comparison list of these two breeds so that I can decide which one I wanna go with. So here I could simply hit slash and I could say ask AI to write, hit enter, and I could type in something like compare border collies and Australian shepherds in a simple table based on their primary differences. And I can hit enter, and we'll see that they actually have quite a few similarities, but border collies, for instance, are more prone to deafness, while Australian shepherds are more prone to eye problems. And they also vary in terms of lifespan. As you can see, they don't have a whole lot of differences, but there are a few differences when you do go through and you read about them. So this can be a really quick way to just gain insights on some of the differences between whatever it is that you're looking at. Next, I'm going to show you how AI can take a ton of information in a huge paragraph and break it down into a consolidated checklist. So for instance, here we have a long list of instructions on how this company wants us to build a website. But if I went ahead and highlighted all of this, 
what I could do is I could ask AI and I could say, turn this into a simple checklist that doesn't miss any of the important tasks in the paragraphs. Enter. And I could just say, turn this into a checklist and it's actually going to turn it into check boxes, very simple. And I'm going to insert below. And now if I just hit enter slash div, hit enter. Now we've got a divider between this. So we have our paragraph with more detailed instructions up here, but we also have a checklist purpose and goal provide information about the construction company. So these things would be like our top level goals that we want to focus on throughout this process. But design and layout, uh, these things are going to be things that we can check off as we go. So blue and silver color scheme based on company logo. We could check that off once we've created the color scheme. Images of past projects, maybe we need to ask for images. And then once we do that, we can check this off. We can create a slideshow of recent work, check that off. And as you can see, this just creates a more actionable version of what they had sent us before. And finally, tip number seven is to use Notion AI to handle repetitive math questions that come up often. This is something that I used to leave Notion and go to Google for, but now when I need to convert my sleep hours to a decimal for my Notion tables, I can simply type in the question. I can hit slash and I can ask AI to write and then I can say, please convert seven hours and 37 minutes to a decimal. I can hit enter and it's going to go ahead and convert this into a decimal and explain how it got to that answer, right? So right here, I can then go ahead and copy this and I can quickly paste it into my Notion database. I hope you enjoyed these seven tips and tricks. And if you did, check out my full Notion AI tutorial. It will help you out as well if you're just getting started with Notion AI. We'll see you in the next one.